Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ship Views with me, Carburetor, where I'm going to be teaching you how to save a little bit of money while playing on World of Warships. There are some who might say that you should never spend any money on World of Warships. Personally, I would tend to agree with them. However, if World of Warships is your hobby, I would encourage you to invest in your hobby. Just like it costs money for those people to go drag racing, just like it costs pe people money to go and get those high-end RC cars, just as it costs money to get those uh, to get those really fancy HO train layouts, sometimes you have to spend a little bit of money to have a little bit of fun. And realistically, $100 for something like this is really not that bad when you consider just how much effort World of Warships puts into their content. This is not something that is just haphazardly thrown on screen. You can see that they do at least try, or at least try, maybe not that hard sometimes, but they do try to provide good content. But anyway, I wanted to teach you guys a little bit of a trick on how to save some money. Because even though I encourage you to spend money on your hobby, to invest into your hobby, you should invest wisely. So, if we head into the armory, you can actually see that you may purchase the Dalian for 19,300 doubloons. If we head into the premium shop, you can see 19,300 doubloons is $77.20. The same exact amount as if you were to just purchase the Dalian. $77.20. However, there is a little bit of a trick. If you don't mind spending a little bit over the ship, you can get the doubloons in one of these containers. Now, why is that crucial? Because you do receive a slight discount. If we look at this 25,000 doubloons, if we go down and we go to purchase any amount of doubloons and we go to 25,000 doubloons, that's a hundred dollars. We're getting a dollar off. Doesn't sound like much, but you watch your nickels and your dimes, and your dollars take care of themselves. You've already committed to spending money on World of Warships, so why not spend money wisely? If you can save a little bit of money somewhere, you can save a little bit of money somewhere, and those doubloons will always come in handy. Always come in handy. So, let's go ahead, purchase this. You guys don't need to see this part, so I'll invite you guys back when we are in port. And just like that, the purchase has been made. So let's close this screen. As you can see, 25,000 doubloons added in. So let's go ahead and purchase the Dalian. And just like that, I saved a little bit of money. Not much, but a little bit of money. And now I have some extra doubloons to do with what I please. If I choose to waste some by maybe, oh, I don't know, buying Pan-Asian bundles, I can waste some buying Pan-Asian bundles. But the important thing is, is that it has put, it has saved a little bit of money on the back end. So I just wanted to teach you guys this trick because I tell this to a lot of people that, hey, you can buy doubloons in, in the, uh, in the shop and get them cheaper than if you were to just buy doubloons outright. And people have argued with me about it. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, I hope to see you guys in a little bit to review the Dalian. I've been meaning to add her to my port. I finally decided to add her to my port after watching Sea Lord Mountain Batten's uh, review of her. I wanted to get another YouTuber's uh, point of view before I just before I just purchased her. But anyway, I'd like to formulate my own before I share my own with you. But anyway, take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you all next time.